Hallelujah. Amen. Precious Holy Spirit. Beautiful power of God. Presence of the living God. We want to welcome you into this place. May the power of God be present in every living room today. In every house today. In every home today. In every workplace today. Even as you tune in. May the oil of God the days, the later day anointing be present to heal to move to restore to progress oh hallelujah Amen. welcome the power of God welcome the presence of God welcome the power connection to the king of kings. We are those five virgins that will not miss the day of their visitation. Come on somebody, welcome the presence of God. Welcome the presence of God. Hallelujah. Amen. It is time to pray. We will briefly get into the word but welcome to our Friday overnight. Overnight Welcome to the Miracle Center Cathedral. It is going to be a power-packed night. And remember, not by might, not by power, but by His Spirit, who is the power of God. The anointing of God is already in this place. We are about to go into warfare. Remember, the oil is multiplied by a giving out. The widow in her house poured the oil out to vessels for purposes of sustenance. And the more she poured, the more oil she had access to. Her family did not run out because she was pouring. Oh, come on, somebody. Tonight, even before we pray, pour out to somebody. Wake up someone in your house and say, let's pray. Oh, if you are in the diaspora, wake up someone. Gather your house around the TV station. Call your neighbor, call your friend and say, let's pray. Do a pouring out tonight. Because as we pour out, hallelujah, as we pour out, there is an oil for sustenance. I want to especially welcome those of you uh, who are our prayer warriors and who are praying with us every other night on Top Chat. Top Chat. Oh, I am Babazi, I can see you. Chirabo, I yes. can see you. Sendagire, I am elated. Yes. I am Babazi, I can see you. Richard Sentongo, wonderful. Tracy Guambe, wonderful. Chiemba Besori, it's great to see you. Aluka Chizito, wonderful to see you. Agatha, Katrina, you are all welcome. Imi Namatovu, I can see you. Amen. Jacqueline, I'm waiting for you. Amen. Gloria Nakero, I can see you. Joanne, I can see you. Atusimire Hilda, I can see you. You are all welcome. Where is Flavia Knight? Is oh, I can see you, Flavia Knight. I'm looking for you. You are all welcome. Is we are Daniel Mugisha. You are welcome. Chris Opio, wonderful to yes. see you. We are looking forward to a Holy Ghost night. Winston Churchill Saunders, we are glad to have you online. Amen. Chirabo Justin. Amen. Wonderful. All these prayer warriors. Su Apolot. All the prayer warriors. Amen. I am Babazi, who Amen. always come in in time to help me usher people into the power of God. Oh, thank you so much for being present. And we want to welcome all of you who are watching us from within the nation from without please stay tuned Pastor um, Robert Kayanja will be coming on briefly as soon as I finish ushering us into prayer it is time to pray it is time to, 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 to avail 
it is time to come into the presence of God. We have been looking at the oil. And we have been looking at the oil that empowers our feet. And we have seen how it how important it is for our feet to be dipped in the oil. Hallelujah. Amen. We know that our feet have an enemy. And we know that in the book of Genesis, when the curse was pronounced, it was said by God that the seed of the woman would be at war with the seed of the serpent. And the seed of the woman would crush the head of the serpent. But the head of the serpent would crush would bite the heel of the seed of the woman. And all this time, we have seen an enmity against our hills. But thank God for the power of God. Thank God for the anointing. Thank God for the oil. Every inch and foot. Every paralyzed foot. Every heart feet. Every slow feet. By the power of God. By the streams in the wilderness. Oh, come on, somebody. Yes, Lord. By the rivers in the desert. Is going to be rejuvenated. And they will run like deers. And that is what we saw yesterday. In Isaiah chapter 35, verse 6. The streams of God repairing damaged feet. The streams of God. God, repairing feet that were paralyzed, the streams of God, repairing feet that were slow, the streams of God, repairing feet that needed to be made anew. Hallelujah. Amen. And we saw how the oil would empower your feet against vagabondism, against running away from your promise against running away from um, uh, the direction of God we also saw how the power of God would empower your feet from being slow hallelujah Amen. but tonight we want to see how the power of God will empower your feet to, to walk through difficult terrain to walk through difficult situations to negotiate complicated topography to climb mountains to walk through places that you would have fallen hallelujah Amen. tonight it is not about speed tonight it is, it is about the tenacity to stay moving even when the conditions do not allow you to even when the place that you are walking is no longer leveled ground. Even when the place that you are walking is complicated. Even when the place that you are walking is frightening. Oh, and that is why David says, Ye though I go through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. So tonight we want to look at the power that empowers you, that empowers your feet to go through places that are unpredictable, places where other people have failed. 
places where other people could not have walked places where you cannot walk in your own mind in your own heart in your own human understanding and with your own human ability oh hallelujah Amen. we will start with Psalm 18 verse 33 the psalmist is reminiscing about our God and he says he maketh my feet like king's feet like hind's feet kwe gamba um hind's like the deer's feet he makes my feet like deer's feet and set me secure upon the heights wato nante kam be febya waguru hallelujah amen this is the psalmist in 18 verse 33 he chino chile muzza buli 18 asatu mupiri my feet alete ne bikere byange like deer's feet ne bibera nge byennangazi like hind's feet ge byennangazi and set me secure upon the heights the psalmist is saying that because he is my God he has the ability I know so to change my feet so that my feet can walk on rocky ground so that my feet can walk on hilly ground so that my feet can walk on mountainous ground so that my feet can walk on high ground so that my feet can negotiate difficult terrain Habakkuk Habakkuk chapter 3 verse 17 He says though the fig tree does not bud and there are no grapes on the vine though the olive crop fails and the fields produce and there are no sheep in the pen and no cattle in the store Yet I will rejoice in the Lord and I will be joyful in God my savior and he says in verse 19 the sovereign lord is my strength and he makes my feet like the feet of a deer he enables me to walk on the heights he makes my feet like the feet of a deer and he determines me he, and, and, and he enables me to walk on the heights Habakkuk is talking about a difficult situation an unbearable situation a time that we a time almost like the one we are living in He says when the fig trees do not bud and there are no grapes on the vine that means when I lack the desirable harvest when I lack the desirable income when I lack the desirable meal when I lack the desirable investment he says though the olive crop fails and the fields produce and there are no sheep in the pen and no cattle in the stores oh come on when everything is going wrong my friends have failed me the fields empty lie the big trees are barren he says yet I will rejoice and why should I rejoice because in verse 19 the sovereign lord is my strength and he makes my feet like the feet of a deer and he enables me and he secures me to walk on the heights oh come on somebody say tonight God is empowering me to walk on the heights to walk in mountainous terrain 
areas to walk on rocky areas to walk on difficult terrain oh many are the afflictions of a righteous man but the Lord delivers him through them all and the question is never whether you will walk through the terrain the question is always how will you will walk through the terrain now mountain climbing people have special gear to climb mountains. They have ropes that they will hold on to when they are climbing steep mountains. They have special shoes. Sometimes they even have special clothing. Oh, come on somebody. Sometimes they even have special clothing to go up the mountain. But when you decide to take a mountain hike in faith the chances are that if you do not have the appropriate gear if you do not have the appropriate ropes and you are going mount up Mount Everest the chances are that you will get to a place where you will no longer be able to negotiate negotiate that terrain to go up that mountain because it's not within your human ability. You cannot do it without help. You cannot do it without a push. So for those of you who have watched mountain climbing you have seen people go up with gear. They don't just take a faith walk. They go up with gear. Hallelujah. They go up with ropes. They go up with climbing shoes. They have nails that can hit into the rocks. Mountains are difficult places to negotiate. That is why Jesus said that if you have the faith of a mustard seed, say to the mountain, move so that the mountain <laughs> will come out of your way. But there are mountains that are there not for you to pull down. But for you to negotiate. The Bible says that as the mountains surround Jerusalem, so the Lord encompasses his people. So if you are going to Jerusalem, you must go through a mountain. Sometimes the mountain is your is within your destination. Sometimes the mountain is the route to your destination. Sometimes the mountain is making you a testimony. Sometimes you have to go through the mountain. Sometimes this is a directive from God. Abraham had to go through a mountain to sacrifice his son. Oh, come on, somebody. Yes, Lord. Tonight we are going to pray for the power of God to empower our feet. To walk on dangerous territory. To walk on hilly territory. To walk on mountainous territory. Oh, there are many people who think the Christian walk is just a walkover. I want you to know that this poor man cried out to the Lord and he delivered him from all his troubles. There will be trouble. But your God can empower your feet to stay walking, to stay moving, regardless of how difficult the situation is, regardless of how difficult the journey is, regardless of how difficult, regardless of how challenging, do you know that Calvary is a hilly place? according to archaeologists it is not a flat place but Jesus feet had 
been anointed and he walked the place to Calvary he carried his cross he did not fail he did not die on the way oh he did not opt out today we are praying for God to empower our feet to walk through the difficult terrain to walk through the difficult conditions and to be able to go through them oh and you will you are able to you are well able to oh come on somebody yes Lord come on somebody Isaiah 43 Isaiah Namusatu he, um, he says when you pass through the waters I will be with you and through the free rivers they will not overwhelm you when you walk through the fire you will not be burned hallelujah Amen. this man <laughs> is passing through the waters and he's still walking he goes through the river and he remains walking oh he goes through the fire and he's not scorched <laughs> and he's not walking and he's still walking come on somebody hallelujah Amen. and he's not burned and he's not scorched oh we are praying that God will empower our feet to go through difficult terrain so that we can go to a high place and have a testimony so that we can go to a high place and have visibility so that we can go to a high place and have vision but we'll go before you get to this high place there is a mountain climbing you cannot get to a high place without going through a steep place oh come on someone Isaiah 40 verse 31 but they who wait for the Lord shall renew their strength they shall mount up with wings as eagles they will walk and they will not faint they shall run and they shall not grow weary because they waited upon the Lord their walk will not cause them to collapse their walk will not throw them down it is difficult but they will continue walking it is challenging but they will continue walking and as they walk God will renew their strength and as they walk God will give them more pen energy and as they walk God will give them more power and as they walk they will not fall from the mountain top oh come on somebody receive the power oh worry receive the power to keep on moving Mary receive the power to keep on moving may your feet ignore the topography that has changed may your feet ignore the levels that have changed may your feet ignore the rough surface that has changed may your feet continue to move in the mighty name of Jesus in the mighty name of Jesus hallelujah amen Back to our main script. He makes my feet. Habakkuk chapter 3 verse 19. He makes my feet like the feet of a deer. I asked on the screen that they put a picture of a deer negotiating a difficult terrain going up a rocky mountain I don't know whether it is clear it is clear where I can see it I don't think it is clear on the television maybe I should move away okay it's not as clear as I wanted it to be But the feet of the deer have an outer hoof. And as the feet climb, the hoofs can dig into the soil and cling on to the soil. And so when a deer is climbing, no matter how steep, 
Sinsonga kaimiri dekati ya kasozi. The, the, the mountain is. This mountain climbing deer has its feet fixed in the mountain. And therefore it